There are two problems that need to be told. And let's make sure we're clear on that. The sister said we're going to be swift. We're going to be very respectful of time. It's not about talking. It's about action. Black power. Justice for Sandra Blaine. Justice for Sandra Blaine. I was told we did nothing. We had nothing. And we came from nothing. But we were the beginning of the beginning. Black people started civilization, mathematics, architecture, medicine. You just cannot wipe us out. They are giving guns to sociopath homophobic psychotic. These are pathological people. And they look at the black man and are frightened. And they kill because they are terroristic and sociopathic and colorphobic. Come on now, where are the rest of the cardinals, the priests, the nuns that used to march with us? Where are those psychiatrists and psychologists that used to write about racism, white supremacy as a pathological response? Give your children a brown crayon for Christmas and tell them color Jesus is. Why are we here today, uh, We're here to support the Sandra Bland family. Uh, Sandra Bland's mother and sisters have flown in from Chicago. Uh, this is a federal hearing. Uh, I think we're supposed to go over the discovery law, which is the information that the family has requested in regards to the Sandra Bland murder. Um, and then uh, to go over some other legalities, which include uh, letting us know when the trial is going to be set for the family. How can people support or keep up with the, with the trial and what's going on? Well, for one, if you, uh, if you go to the hashtag Sandra Bland, through there, through Facebook, through Twitter, we are being very active with keeping updates and what's going on to, uh, with the family. Um, you can also get on Facebook and, and look up Sandra Bland um, and just keep in the know with, you know, with uh, independent media like yours as well. She got in that jail cell. Why was she separated in a jail by, in a cell by herself? We want all of the information. We want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Haven't spoken to them today, but we spoke to them this week. They've been on some of our local radio shows, uh, talking to the people, explaining to them what it's been like to lose their loved one. We're going into the holiday season. This will be their first season without their daughter. 28 years old, beautiful sister. So we're here to wrap our arms around them in solidarity and let them know Houston cares. Houston, Texas cares about Sandra Bland.